All right, guys, by far the number one question I get uh, from the Ask Me Anythings is to go through my template with you guys, which I'm happy to do. Um, <clears throat> my templates, I thinned it out recently, so this is as lean as it's been in a while. Um, I'm not sure how many tracks are in there, but we'll find out today. Depending how long this video goes, I might break it into two chunks because there's a lot in there. <laughs> um, so let's check it out. So this is what I see. <clears throat> Pardon me, when I open up the sequence in the morning, I have a marker for in and marker for out, green for go, red for stop. Um, I have the orchestra here. You know, let me make this all a little bit bigger for you guys. I know the screen resolution is crazy in this thing, so it's very small on the screen capture. So here's the orchestra, a little divider line, and then non-orchestral below it. Um, <clears throat> just that way, it's just neatly organized for me. I can see right away. And when the sequences get really thick, this little black line is actually a big help. Right now, it seems like it's just sitting there, but later on, it becomes important. So, for example, start at the top. So these are organized, the orchestra is organized the way it reads on the page, which is kind of how I like it. Again, I'll make these bigger for you. Look a little clunky, but who cares? So uh, piccolo, solo flutes, flutes A2, alto bass, oboe, etc. <clears throat> Contra bassoon, gotta have it. And then uh, I have some ensemble woodwind stuff, uh, longs and shorts, uh, and they're just great for, um, you know, both hands kind of just, you know, jamming out woodwind parts without having to think about the instrumentation too much. Um, they work great for sketching, for sure. And so that's the woodwind folder. And again, like I mentioned before, turn this one on, um, like it is on the page, you just have oboe and you write the notes and then the articulations you use a pen, pen or pencil for. The way we do it in Cubase is these are all expression mapped, which means one solo uh, oboe, but then here are the different articulations. Long legato, long flutter, marcato, tremolo, staccato, trills, whole tone, and trills, half tone. And I just hit my, my tablet, which you can't see, and it changes the, uh, the expression mappings. All these woodwinds are done this way. I find that a really cool way to work. Okay, done with that. <clears throat> um, so this is ex exclusively the Spitfire stuff. Uh, I didn't label it because that's all that's in there, but with the brass libraries, I have a, a bunch of them that I have hanging around. Um, so they're folderized, which is the way I like to work in Cubase. So here's Spitfire brass, my go-to brass library. Trumpet solo, a two, a six, French horn, etc. cetera. Um, Contra bass trombone. I love that instrument. Seriously, I like love writing for little stuff like that. Uh, and then I also have a couple of, uh, again, brass choir type stuff where I can grab both hands and just jam, well, get the ideas out quickly without having to worry about instrumentation at first. Um, Sony, this is Mike Patty's Cine Sample stuff from LA. I mean, this patch here, 12 French horns, literally changed the game, the landscape. It's now like an, in the vernacular of orchestration is 12 French horns. Um, again, ensemble long, ensemble short, just for jamming, and then the individual instruments once the idea got out. Uh, a couple of the Berlin stuff, which I quite like. Um, Tom's library, which I haven't checked out yet. Look forward to digging into that one, Tom. And TMC, which is some custom stuff of my own. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that's brass. Pianos, bells, and harps. Uh, that organization came from back in the Giga Sampler days when I had to assign food groups to all the machines, and that's but PBH just became a thing, so that's stuck. Um, I love the Abbey Road piano. It's just one of my favorite go-tos. Um, I have a couple felt pianos in here. Bode, Plucked, Randy, Kerber's uh, Prepare Piano, that kind of thing. So, you know, whatever that is, a dozen pianos. And then I have a couple of harps. And then I have the Spitfire, Chiles, Glock, Gratales, Bells, Tubes, Vibes, etc. So that's the Pianos, Bells, and Harps folder. Um, orchestral percussion is divided into low, medium, and uh, low, mid, high, and metal percussion. So, for example, in low would be Grand Casas, Timpanis. Uh, there's a custom TM hit I did from a studio called Tadeo, which is no longer there. TM Todd hits. Um, and then mid would be snares and all that kind of stuff. And then metal would be um, would be metal anvils and this uh, an immortals uh, patch I made when I did that movie. 
so that's uh and you know uh piatti and uh you know tam tam stuff like that so that's orchestral perk non-orchestral perk is down here at the bottom so this is just like the orchestra instruments um choir i love to write for choir um the eric whitaker library is just stupid how good it is it's such a great library but i have a bunch of other ones here that i've used over the years i just are familiar with um the Voxos Phrase Builder is actually what the Borges' main title is made from. Um, and uh, TMC is custom stuff for me. Uh, okay, strings. This one's going to take a while. <laughs> so here, um, you know, strings are the strings are the bread and butter, right? That's the the lifeblood of a, of a of being a film and TV composer. So I have a lot of different libraries in here. Um, so. Spitfire Ensemble, Section, Chamber, Quartet, and Solo are my go-to kind of, I can do anything with those instruments uh, for writing. So the way I did this sections is, because it's really kind of a sketching and both hands kind of, you know, get the ideas that I love writing that way, is I basically loaded in one or two, or in some cases three, of every one of their ensemble string patches. So long, Super Saltasto, Flotando. This is an awesome one. I, I made this patch myself in, in the in years past, which is half ensemble and half consordino natural. It's a great sound. I've been using that one forever, and they made a patch with it, which is like money. Um, three consordino, solpont, solpont, harmonic, short harmonics, tremolo, blah blah blah. So this is just kind of the the lifeblood of of you know two handed writing uh, for strings, you know. And I, I just love their libraries. They're, they're great. And it's worth mentioning that these are not expression mapped. In other words, if it's, if it's you know, whatever. Consordino, that's all it is. The ensembles, I don't expression map. I just have multiples of them. But in the sections, individual sections, so there's violin one, two, et cetera, these ones are expression mapped. So rather than have them all loaded, uh, this is more like what it's like on the page where you have, like I said, you have the ink, which is the notes and then the articulations you're put on on top of that. Well, that's what this expression mapping is like over here. Long legato, long concertino, harmonics, flotando, sol ponticello, sol tosto, et cetera. So the sections are done with the expression mapping, which is more, you know, if you get lazy and do that two-handed string thing, it ends up sounding not really re realistic after a while. So this is when you dig in and do your homework in here. Uh, same with the chambers. Violins, one, two, viola, celli, bass, and the ensemble, which is again a great thing for the two-handed writing. So you can see the pattern developing and how I work. Uh, quartet strings, same deal. Violins, one and two, viola, celli, bass, and ensemble. It's a great sounding quartet from Spitfire guys. And then lastly, the solo instruments, one of each. Um, this is their latest uh, BBC orchestra, which is really cool, really unique sounding. Um, the British Drama Toolkit, one of Christian Hansen's little inventions. It's cool, I like it. Um, Tundra, all the soft, whispery stuff. These are great. There's such an amazing sound. Um, you know, Hans Zimmer strings, basically, you know, all the different monster sections from him, long and then short folderized. Hybrid string shit. That's, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Uh, ADO's little ostinato engine, which is really cool. One for each section. Uh, cinematic strings to the guys out of Australia. The first cinematic strings they made, which I had, I found dark and I didn't care for them as much. But these ones are really good. They're, they're actually Legato. It's one of the best in the business. So, you know, I just, I'm, I'm lucky to have all these up. You guys don't need to have all these libraries. You know, you can just have one and probably be fine. But I like having, the dream was always to have the entire orchestra up under your fingertips. So this is what that's all about. Uh, I do like the Berlin stuff, so I have a couple of my cherry pick my favorites. Um, the uh, the spiccatos are fantastic from them, and then me being lazy, I have the Joshua Bell violin, uh, ATL Astonato two action strings. I just haven't been put in folders yet because I'm just being lazy. <laughs> so that covers the strings, and then a folder of aleatory down there too, which is uh, a lot of. A lot of the aleatory instruments out there, I'm not a huge fan of. These are pretty good, but I actually did my own custom aleatoric library with orchestra, so it's an audio. So I, I work mostly with, you know, um, 
my own private library for that stuff, for the ooey gooey tension stuff. Um, so that is it for the orchestra. Woods, brass, piano, bells, harps, orchestral percussion, choir, strings, and aleatory, which could probably actually go in the string section like that. So that's the orchestra. I know which patches I have. I've tweaked them all, MIDI delays. We'll get into reverb and busing another time, but uh, they're all basically ready to go. So um, I like having everything up. It just it's a, just you know it's just an awesome thing to have every possible choir, every woodwind, every you know contrabass, trombones, all that stuff you want up. Oh, you want something more more personal? Use the BBC orchestra, or use the chambers, or put the chambers on top of the long strings to get a different sound. Uh, it's just super inspiring for me. This evolves over time, but this is more or less the way it's been for a while. Uh, I'll add new libraries as they come out, but the core of what I write and how I write with the orchestra is these patches, which uh, I've been around for uh, in my template since for a long time. All right, cool. You know what? Let's call it part one of the template, and then I'm going to go through, uh, in the next video, I'm going to go through virtual instruments and uh, everything else that's non-orchestral, if you know what I mean. Um, so we'll do that one next. All right, cool. If, if you like what I'm doing here, guys, you can just hit like and subscribe. That'd be great for me. Um, I'll keep it going. I'll do part two of the template on the next video, and then maybe I'll go through the busing and the routing and another one that's really techy stuff, like we're getting deep deep in the weeds there. So if you if you want to see that, let me know in the comments if that is of interest to you. I basically have three tier, it's more than three, but a three tier busing system on how I get everything done and printed the way I want. All right, guys, thanks for asking me anything um, to be continued.